Holy bat skip! The final part of Arkham City. Yeah, I decided not to waste the fucking dime. <laughs> I can see that because, God, it's 37 minutes, my friend. Yeah, well, we're near the end. We're gonna kill somebody, I hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I want somebody to die. Please, will somebody just die? Will somebody kill me, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I was expecting a wedding, a wedding singer reference, but all right. <laughs> that that was a wedding singer reference. Yeah. Adam Sandler. You never seen The Wedding Singer with Adam Sandler? No, I don't think so. Hey, where the hell did you hear that reference then? <laughs> it's you. I it just you I'd be back. been saying it for the we past <laughs> 15 it's years. Back there. First Joker's men came down here and started Or were you listening to uh, Ann Fish's uh, animes I don't watch? No, I just I just, I just <laughs> haven't done anything really. I just wa I just watch TV, none of them which I've learned it from. I just kept saying that whenever I was pissed. Stay here and do it again. I'll deal with the guards in that room. Oh, I thought you were doing a wedding singer reference. Dude, I am not that cultured, all right. <laughs> I don't know most of the shit I say. <laughs> Except that. And that. And that, and that, and that, 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 that. I'm sorry, who the fuck are you again? <laughs> who are you? Why am I here? The hell is this commentary? This is probably the most difficult of the silent areas. Yeah, I really hate the jammers. I do too. And these tiger guards are actually pretty damn smart when it comes to trying to find you. Because honestly, I try to go for the jammer guy first anytime I'm here. But if I really can't get to him, then I'll go after the other guys. Can you shoot the, the remote electrical charge at the jammer guys and will it break? It'll disable them for a short time. Okay, so it's not officially gone until you rip off the antenna. Yep. So you have to take them out. I'm pretty sure you have the gadget that allows you to be uh, masked by their thermal, right? Yeah. Dude, that is like rule number one to have. Switching to thermal. Oh, I like I instantly like saw it on the uh, upgrades list. I'm like, oh crap, I'm definitely getting this. Vantage point clear. No sign of target. I remember the issues I had last time. Come on. Now to play the waiting game. Oh yeah. Another one bites the dust. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that you actually used a sonic battering to do that. Yeah, I, o I always use it, especially when I just don't want to fucking deal with assholes. Remember that. I mean, think if sonic so if I actually need to take out an armored guard without anyone ever fucking knowing where, who, where the hell I am or who the hell I wa where the, who the hell I was. I would just sonic battering the shit out of them. Punch, 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 punch. Hey, you guys hear something? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I just thought I heard someone screaming bloody murder. Bloody murder! Bloody, bloody murder! murder! Check your numbers. <laughs> Don't forget to bring a towel. Casualty, my <laughs> okay, suddenly random tally reference. Yep. What can I say? I'm in the South Park mood. I do like how in um, Arkham Origins they give you. Yeah, you do have the Mind Disruptor thing. Yeah, I, have it. I got it again. Well, you, uh, whenever you do New Game Plus, you automatically have the Mind Disruptor. I just didn't want to use it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about a couple of parts ago. Like, you have the Mind Disruptor. You told me you didn't. Well, I'm sorry. I thought I didn't because, hey, guess what? It's been a while since I played this fucking game. It's been a while since you recorded this. 
This is when you did the rest of your the rest of your put ups, and that was like pretty much beginning of fall. Yep. But I do, what I was going to say earlier is that I do like that the upgrade they give you in Arkham Origins allow you to have uh, more disruptor uh, charges. Now I can't remember, when you get them encased in ice, do they stay like that until you break them out or can you just like ice? Them? Yeah. But if you do the cluster bomb, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, because the cluster bomb just uh, freezes their feet, not their whole body. Sneaking, you're sneaking, 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 sneaking. The last two guys, too. Yep. Is that, is that mine gonna go off once he's dead? Uh, no. Ah. That's what I like about it. <laughs> Let's fuck with him. <laughs> Freeze him, then take his ass down. That's it. I let you go down the stairs and then you're mine. I want you to get a good look at the person who beat the crap out of you. Why? I'm Batman. Da -da 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 -da. Punch. One thing that's different about these, I. Uh, Cryptographic sequencers in the Wii U port is that you actually have this little. You have to go searching for this one spot on your gamepad. It's kind of like these whole circuit lines and whatnot, and you gotta dodge all these uh, security lasers that are in there. Really? Yeah, that's how the Wii U one uses it. You know, anything to use a gamepad gimmick and whatnot. It works pretty well, but I don't mind the whole turning your analog sticks just to get the right password. I think both work effectively and are not boring or tedious. It's all boring and tedious to me. Unless I'm not beating the shit out of someone, it's boring and tedious. Well, it's all, it rarely happens, so... You know, it, when we get to Arkham Origins, then you could say it's boring and tedious. Because they use a little bit too much of that gimmick in that game. You cannot stop me. I have won. Within the hour... Every single piece of criminal scum will burn. And then I will turn my Aw, oh, look at that. They're all mind. waiting for you. I sense I a Batman Forever you reference in here. I will drag your faithful <sighs> And I will make him tell the world. Boys kill the bat! My Arkham City experiment is a success. And you, you will kneel before me, begging for your life. And this place can only be a pain in the ass of just how small it is. Yeah, you don't really get a lot of room to work in. And if these guys are actually at all decent, you're kind of fucked. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's me! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, sh you keep butting in on all my games. Cover the door. Which games have I butted in? Every one of them. I've had to delete you at multiple times. I don't remember seeing my name during the Duke Nukem Forever commentary. That's because I deleted it. I say you're full of crap. I say you're not full of another crap. I'm ti tired. I, di I do give a crap. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. Because I'm Doug Dupin, I'm owner of the Dim 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 God, I'm so fucking tired. I'm making stupid references now. <laughs> I've explained why you're so nonchalant right now. Why? Why do we have to do more of these stupid codes? We could just grapple to the top. Yeah, honestly, you could. If Batman, if Batman Forever and Batman and Robin taught me anything, is that his grapple can extend pretty far. It's kind of like Hulk and his jump in the old comics and TV show. So, Hulk, how far can you jump? Uh, whatever gets me out of the jam I'm currently in. That sounds uh, pretty convenient. Yeah, someone said too convenient. 
And it's true. He, he jumps from here to the moon. No, that's Red Hulk, which was bullshit to begin with. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't like Red Hulk? When he first appeared, no, because he basically he was just stronger than everybody, and after they introduced him, they made him fucking weaker than everybody. So technically, they really couldn't find any balance with him. Yeah, there was like no balance whatsoever. He's weaker than Hulk, yet he was able to take beat the shit out of Hulk. He's weaker than Thor, that's for sure. Yet he was able to jump, take Thor, jump him to the moon, and fucking take his hammer and beat him, to, beat him nearly to death with it. Takes on multiple superheroes at the same time, and he ends defeats them like they're nothing. But right after they defeat him. When Hulk and Thor join forces to defeat him, after that, everybody is able to defeat Sir, him. Like they're nothing. Hmm. Speaking of Thor, you heard you call his name. That's why the thunder was going off in the background. No, that was Hawken. Thor doesn't live here. Strange is killing everyone in that place. I'm nearly Or maybe it's Shazam! I know. Dude, Shazam is actually pretty cool. I like Shazam. I feel so bad for him in Injustice. <laughs> Poor kid. Dude, no, no, you will feel bad for him. With no, well, actually, yeah. I intend to find out who Injustice, he, is, he got really fucked over. He, all because he wanted to do the right thing. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I, I bring it up, like, all the time when I go to the part where pretty much Superman, you know, melts his brain and everything like that. Isn't that considered, the, like... Child homicide. Well, he's probably been in his adult form for quite some time, so no one actually knew. Yeah, but still, <laughs> it still crosses my mind just thinking about it. But what? Does he get a lot of crap in the comics as well? Uh, not really. But if you ever watch Justice League War, he does get some shit there. But that's mainly because he's a little shithead too. Oh uh, well. It if he's being a little shithead, okay, I can... Yeah, Wonder Woman decks him in the face. Okay, if it's something that he deserves, then okay. But if it's something that he's just mostly an innocent bystander in the whole picture, then yeah, I feel bad for him. Hence well, injustice. Now and, again, now and again, he is... He can be both. The one that they portray in the whole, the new 52s and all that, I think he's supposed to be more of a, like a complete jackass. An inexperienced kid, rather than an actual hero. Fun fact, his, his original name used to be Captain Marvel. No, his name still is Captain Marvel. Uh, well, most people consider it to be Shazam only because the words he says to transform. Yeah, well, he, yeah, they, they've changed into Shazam, but yeah. I mean, there's still people I know who call him Captain Marvel. Dude, I'll always call him Captain Marvel. And you know what? To me, he, yeah, he will always still be Captain Marvel. But if I need to... But if I'm just talking about him in general to anybody who really does not know much about the comics or stuff like that, I'll just call him Shazam. Because most likely, they probably play like Injustice or maybe heard of him. Yep. I, this is probably the part that took the longest, because just trying to get them all where I want them to be was a pain in the ass. Yeah, this part takes me a while, too, sometimes. Because, honestly, since the room is so compact, it is, uh, it's really hard to take them down without being noticed at all. But you're doing a good strategy of leaving a sonic battering there while they're checking over the ledge. But you're not using it right now. Because I actually wanted to... Uh, it had to do mostly with uh, doing a Riddler challenge. What Riddler challenge is that? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It's just some pain in the ass Riddler challenge that I was trying to do. I had to be something. At this point, you're 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 not just even trying anymore. Now, are you playing Sick of Truth in the background? Maybe. I've been hearing it for the past couple of minutes, so yeah. 
All right, there. No more stick of truth. I'm sorry. Come out and help me, Jesus. Well, it doesn't matter. Because at this point, I really got nothing much to say. I'm just waiting for you at this point to beat the crap out of Hugo Strange. The thing is, you don't even beat the crap out of him. You just fucking choke him, maybe. Blue bomb him a bit, and then he dies. Now you punch him across the table and throw him. Yeah, but you, we all know that that's just all part of Batman's gimmick of uh, getting <laughs> them ready. <laughs> Jesus. You freaking remote electric charge him like point blank. I did not want him to escape. <laughs> Have 6,000 volts of electricity, jackass. You are not Damn right. to me, Batman. You hide behind that mask, but I... I love how he's just standing there. Ooh, so dangerous. The world you I can't possibly get in here. I'm immune. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> how do you do that? There you go. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I know you're Every dead. bad guy's like that. You, you can't defeat me. Here. I'm invincible. I am the strongest. How could you have done it? Yada yada yada. At this point, he's motherfucking Batman. You never mess with motherfucking Batman. Dude, even the Justice League War, everyone who thought just Batman was just a myth, they're like, uh, yeah, is that Batman? Oh my god, it's Batman! Understand this. You cannot defeat Oh yeah. I am untouchable. And now are you gonna make your diff your big monologue speech saying that you're the best there is ever it is? Everything is to your perfect creation. Pretty much. Yep, like I said, typical villain dialogue. I did like this uh this uh look that they did for uh, Hugo Strange in here. Well, that's actually pretty much a traditional look. I know, but they've done Bald other things. Bald and bearded. Yeah, I know, but they've done other looks for him as well, too. May I remind you of the Batman? Dude, don't remind me. I don't like Jamaican Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's but white, he's, he's white, but he, seriously, with that hairstyle, yeah, you get Jamaican out of that. And he's dead. And look at that. A big lip alligator You're moment. Where the hell did he strange. come from? I have powerful friends, Batman. This is just now we meet the true villain. You cannot stop me. Soon I will command forces. No, the true villain is later on, but we now know who the fu re who the fuck's the reason why all this happened to begin with. Yeah, exactly. It's more of a true, more of a true villain to the story of what's supposedly supposed to be the story. Because that's the thing with, you know, they did with Arkham Origins. Shakes Black Mask and, oh, spoilers! It's Joker. And honestly, even with having, I can really do it without the Joker in Arkham Origins because they were going over more of the fact of his connection between him and Batman. Stuff that I already knew before playing the game, so nothing was brand new to me. This was Yep. And he failed That's why when Arkham Knight comes out, because there's going to be a new villain called the Arkham Knight, who kind of looks like Batman, except with the Arkham symbol and whatnot. People, oh yeah, I think I know who that is. People, well, he's only made for video games. He was never in the comics or any other media. Sure, I would think it'd be like a, the guy who tries to make himself look like a military, militarized Batman kind of thing. Isn't that Prometheus? He's already no, not Prometheus. It's uh, some other person. Oh, and, oh, um, oh, shit, I can't try to remember. The name. Basically, on the cover of the comic, you see half of Batman and half of this guy. This uh, person who would be like is a full-on military kill everything Batman version. The world will not miss them. Well, I haven't read any of the comic books or whatnot. So I haven't even read any of that one. So I'm just pointing out, like, yeah, I think that might be him. Now, apparently, what I t what they told, what they said, they already said in an interview that Arkham Knight is their own creation. He's never in the comics. He's never in any pieces of media except for their game. And people are already calling out that Joker is the Arkham Knight. 
No, he's dead. Exactly. If they do do that, Rocksteady has to know just how stupid it would be if they bring him back like that. What are you doing? Pass code. And that's why I went into the whole Arkham Origins thing of him being in there. We really did not need Joker. We could have been just fine with just Black Mask, honestly. And the rest of the Assassins. I wish the Assassins were more used in the story, but a good majority are secondary missions and whatnot. I really wish that uh, Deathstroke was more uh, was more involved. Exactly. Maybe that he was that uh, Batman would maybe I don't know convince him to join the uh, Batman instead of fighting him, and then you play as Deathstroke for a good chunk of the game, trying to f help him figure out what the hell's going on. I would love to see more Deathstroke and everything like that, but no, they all play second okay? banana to Joker. Well, I know we can so always hope God, for right. the uh, Suicide Squad if they ever strange. make it. This whole that would be an awesome game. game. Plan. You're kidding. Where is he now? Let's just say he's going to need a trip to a Lazarus pit. So, Arkham Knight, we don't know who he is, but he's just I'll get back some to sort of form Something's of Batman, even up. though... Um, Scarecrow is the main villain of Arkham Knight. He's still having the Arkham Knight villain in there. So all we have for confirmed for villains are Scarecrow, Two-Face, Penguin, Harley, and the Arkham Knight. I'm just wondering, what's Harley going to be doing? Because without uh, Joker, she's kind of had like nothing left. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Because she already tried out all her, you know, revenge and whatnot in the DLC, and that failed. So I'm curious, what the hell kind of role she's going to play in Arkham Knight? That's another, that's a question that that's boggling my mind, too, every time I see the trailer. Like, what's the point of her being there? And also, that uh, Penguin and Two-Face are actually working together for once. Do you think it might be one of the situations where they'll work for now, but turn on each other later? Yeah, definitely. If that's what the trailer's portraying, and if they actually do that. Because those guys aren't going to work together. You know what they they might actually be trying to go by? They might be going trying to go by No Man's Land. Is that a, is that a arc that uh, had them working together, then turn on each other? Uh, no, it really had it to where it might as well have been like, like a combination of the new one, of Arkham Knight and uh, Arkham Origins, where everyone's like fighting for control of the city, except there's like no civilians left. It's just the criminals and the cops, all trying to fight for control, and the government has disowned Gotham City. And this is before the New 52s, right? Yeah, this is before New 52s, but it is referenced in New 52s. All right, well, who knows? That could be a good estimation of what Arkham Knight might be like. And not to, uh, not to mention, uh, New 52s, the Batman was like the one of the only few characters who wasn't really messed around with at all. His comics are already a mess. Do they need to be a much more no, bigger no. mess? No, no, I mean, like, when, when they had the whole, like, New 52 was supposed to be them be re being reborn. Origin stories a little bit altered or some shit like that. Batman was, like, not really altered, and they just kept going with him. I know, but like I said, even so, with Batman... Some of his arcs are kind of a bit of a mess, at least in my opinion. Do you really think they need to tweak with him anymore? Uh, no. It's already confusing, and not to mention Batman was an extremely popular character when exactly. uh, the New 52 was being booted, so they decided to just keep it going and try and mold it in there. Because DC loves him. The hell, I can always use more Batman. Everyone can. Batman's amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't go through the door until they're all done for. Which is bullshit! Yeah, honestly, what's stopping you? But I guess it's obligated for Batman to take down every mook. Nah, I don't feel like making them live. And now, suddenly, the door is open. What yep. a twist! Don't, don't turn the M Night on one, please. No. <laughs> There's a, there could be a reason why I said that. Maybe we'll see it in a couple of minutes. No, no, just no. Oh, come on, you did not see this come the first time. Oh, yeah, no, I did not see it come. But the moment you said uh, this scene comes, I got like, oh, 
This is way too easy. Yeah, because I got the... Yeah, I got the feeling that something was up. Hurry up and take your seat, Batman. The show's about to... Not only that, he did not bleed whatsoever. Something's this. wrong here. <laughs> yep. Now you want to talk. Too late. Yeah, so we now know where Give what happened to Arlie. But you've already got the cure. And now no. Batman's finally getting the picture, something that he should have done in the very beginning. Problem solved. You didn't need to. Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. He's a genius for doing so. Yeah, Joker is extremely smart. It's over. That's why I love Batman's villains and everything like that. They're just so intriguing and unique. They're not your average supervillain. They're more than that. Ring, ring. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? And that monologue that he was talking about in the very uh, in the cut scene there was uh, one of the phone messages that you could get get from him when you go flying around Arkham City. Every once in a while, when you do something, he'll call you. Yep, checking it and trying to make sure you get the cure so that he can keep fucking with you. Mm -hmm. And even with him taking back the cure and everything like that, he still does it. <laughs> I didn't know. That's just it. He never did get the cure back. Never you. Not always. Well, sometimes. Um, when I first saw this, I'm like, oh god, it's gone blobby. I want to know just what the hell is it's ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up. You know, I, I'm wondering, why is Clayface never actually referenced in, like, later That's comics, like Batman Beyond and everything? So you would think, since he can technically never age, he could be whoever he wants? That he would be immortal. Yeah, you would think. But you're right. If there's one villain they rarely talk about in Batman Beyond and Onward, it's Clayface. And Clayface is our final boss of this game. Do you think he's better than the Joker Titan? Yeah, I think he's a lot more difficult. You weren't even supposed to be in here. Yeah, I will full heartedly agree with you with that one. Do you make him run into all the explosives that are next to the door? Yeah. That's a good way to get a humongous chunk of his health gone. Well, actually, I don't actually dig get him, get him to go over there all the time. All I, but what I really do, I just... I get him to crash into there now and again, and I just keep throwing my ice bombs. Oh well, yeah, that's what I do too. Usually I get his health about maybe half or so, and then I make, and whenever he gets into his ball form, I make him run into the explosives, like so. And it takes off a good chunk, and then you can use a couple more cluster freeze bombs, or freeze blast bombs. And then, you know, you just do whatever you have to do. Are you actually uh, dodging those by using the uh, double A move, or are you actually using the counter button? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm dodging those using the double A move. It's a lot easier for me to do it that way instead of using the counter because for some reason the counter just doesn't want to work sometimes. Slice, 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 baby. Yeah, slice, 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 baby. Yes, I'm fucking up the song on purpose. Suck my balls. I don't care. Freaking Ice Ice Baby is pretty much taking credit from Under Pressure by Queen. Ugh, must put out the fire! <laughs> you're framing, you're aiming your freeze blast over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, I had to try to do something. You know, Good Samaritan and all that crap. <laughs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Talk about Batman, not you. Don't just stab oh, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Seriously, when you get punched.
punched by Clayface, it really looks like it hurts. Yeah, I, I would never want to be punched by him. It's like getting punched by a fucking mudslide. You don't live through that. No, you don't. Uh, kicking some ass, kicking some ass. <laughs> now to slice him into itty bitty tiny pieces. Slice, slice, slice. Slice, slice, slice. slice, slice, slice. Seriously, you could have sculpted him into something, like maybe a dick or something like that. I want to kill him. What are you doing? I don't care what Batman's rule is, I would have killed Joker a long time ago. Yeah, well, it will take Batman a good 30 years or so just to finally end him. And it wasn't even by his uh, Batman's terms, You're it was by Joker's. God, he is so lucky I that that thing like didn't land about a few inches closer to him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Batman, Batman has a bit. Batman has a bit of lady Will luck or his own luck on his side. And now we get this part of fight where we have to take out a bunch of his goop men, and then you can finally throw the freeze blast at him. And he likes to throw up on you. The only difficult of difficulty of this part is just the glop people themselves. This time, Batman's doing a Ninja Gaiden style with a sword. Dude, Ninja Gaiden is probably one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life, other than Dark Souls. Oh, duh. Ninja Gaiden 2 is not merciful. That's why in Ninja Gaiden 3, they dumbed down the difficulty, and I'm kind of pissed off that they did that, because there was no real challenge and no fun to it. I mean, with Ninja Gaiden 2, yeah, it is difficult. But it just feels so rewarding once you get past certain areas. Kind of like with Dark Souls. Yeah, except for me in Dark Souls, I have yet to even get past the first freaking area. And what's worse is that I'm stuck because I can't, don't have Xbox Live anymore. I can't get people to help me. Come on, come on. Stab, stab, cut, cut, stab, cut, stab, cut, 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 stab, cut, 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 stab. You know, since this uh, potion is supposed to actually, like, put the, where the person who uses it back to a state in which they're, like, at their physical peak, wouldn't it change um, the play face back to normal? Yeah, maybe. Never thought of it that way. Because you would think it, it would it uh, alters the DNA so when you live uh, to your where you're back to a point in which you are like at your top physical performance and you're even stronger then. So wouldn't that mean that Clayface would get just get stronger then? He'd be turned back to human, I would think. I never thought of it that way. Hmm. That was some good juicy juice. And I'm curious because this brings up another question. Clayface fell into the Lazarus Pit, so what the hell does that mean? It means nothing, he's probably fucking dead. Well, I'm still curious. It's not confirmed anything. That's why when it came to Arkham Origins, it just uh, left a lot of questions just unanswered. That's why I hope that Arkham Knight will finally, you know, wrap everything up. My juicy juice. You can't have any of it. Quick, and obviously, this is all Joker's fault. If he would have never stabbed him in the arm, Batman would still give him the cure. 
even admits it. Such irony. I know. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. Exactly. Idiot. Just Such cruel irony. <laughs> Think of it as a running. No! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh god, there goes my organs. And yet he dies with a smile on his face. Even after every, every time I see this, I think of the Joker's death <laughs> from uh, the 1989 Batman. Hey, look at that. Chris Robbie is on. Gilden. Yeah, uh, the way he died, you know, when he fell off the building, when the gargoyle was uh, strapped to his leg, and he just fell to his death, but he died with a smile, and he had some sort of voice. The 1989 movie Batman. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, when he and when he has a when he dies with you know a smile on his face and he has some sort of voice recording thing in his pockets that uh, he you know to laugh. he continues laughing, and laughing, and laughing. And that was pretty fucking creepy, even then. Exactly, I still can't get that image out of my head. Sometimes when I w think of 1989 Batman. And finally, Gordon shows up. Uh, and for some reason, in this one, they brought back his original voice actor from the animated series. But in Asylum, they didn't. I don't understand that. Well, they just they probably just wanted to do that. And frankly, I enjoy it. So I'm glad nice. I'm glad that he's there, but... Eh. The animated series nerd in me would have liked him in Arkham Asylum as well, too. Because he played a bigger role in there than he does in here. True, true. And you know what? I'm kind of glad you're not showing the credits because this part was too long enough as it is. <laughs> yep. But Arkham City, best is... Arkham game ever. Turned everything that was good about Arkham Asylum and made it twice as better. And I'm really excited for Arkham Knight to come out when it comes out the end of this year. All right. Until then, goodbye and big balls. Yeah, next time I'll see you guys is with Arkham Origins. So till then, have a great night, everybody. Bring us.